Most guys think, when they watch my vids, they think, oh, he's lucky guy, he has his dog there, so he's safe from the critters, from the bears, from the wolves, from the lynx, from the I don't know what hell not here. Well, the truth is, this is the reality. I'm not safe from anything because he's just eating a damn rock here, and that's his only focus here. So, if somebody or something came here to attack me, I'm pretty sure that he wouldn't care, he's just, just continued to bite his rock here and uh, that's the point of him being here and uh, so if you want to get the Malinois, a Belgian Shepherd you should think about it, not two times, but 50 times Welcome back to Survival Land Well, uh, we're back here in this pine forest, which we were not here for a long time actually more than a month and. Uh, Today we're going to do some bushcrafting, some camping, some survival, whatever. And uh, we have the interesting one today, so make sure you stay tuned. I have something old but new to show you here. We're going to have some nice meal here. We expect also the rain through the night or maybe even before because we have crazy clouds above here. And it is around zero, so hopefully, maybe it's going to even snow. So make sure you stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and let's continue to do it. You can see how huge this rock is, so that is one of the dangers here. Up there we have a huge uphill, it all came from up there. So it was probably a long time ago, but still you have to be very very cautious around here regarding these huge rocks. Now the good thing about this deadfall here, it is deadfall basically, you just have to put, I don't know, 2 kilos of meat down there, and if even the elephant comes here, this rock is huge, you're gonna have a nice elephant here. The great thing is, it is dry beneath this rock here, so in case of rain or snowfall or whatever, we're gonna have our gear nice, dry and safe out there.
So this here, you've seen this before here, and I, I used a lot in the past few years, but uh, basically you have this nice tent and when you close it you can't fish it and that's the whole point. Now, the great thing about this tent, it is very, very robust, okay? And uh, I do recommend this every time around here. I do recommend this even over some other tents. And uh, I'm going to talk about that a bit later, uh, but a few points of advantage over the modern tents. First thing, it is robust as hell. So it is more resistant to other factors here, okay? As, I don't know, uh, snow, rain, heavy wind, and uh, nothing will pass through, especially if you use walks like I do here. So I did walks that maybe two years ago and still holds on rain pretty good. Second thing is you can use even stove for it. Plus it retains heat better than any tent I slept so far and uh, I did sleep in ton of tents okay. So that is huge advantage. This advantage is of course weight but it's not that heavy. Have in mind that you don't have construction for this so you can use this all your rope and you're gonna be completely fine. You can set it up we're gonna make some tent pegs around here and we should be pretty cool. Uh, also, uh, we're not going to use parkour this time, we're going to use different technique to hang it. And uh, what the hell is he right now? He was just eating the rocks a second ago, now you can't hear him. One done, we need two more. Uh, thing is, not far from here, I had one raised bed and uh, I took apart, of course, when I left because always leave no trace around here. Also, never cut the live trees, so only dead standing just like this. We're gonna find two more and that's all we need here. So we need three of these long poles so we can hang our low tent. Ten minutes of walk here. We can see leftovers from my shelter, which was right about, I think, over here. And uh, we had a raised bed over there. I remember it was raining just like crazy. Well, if you didn't watch that, that means you're not subscribed yet. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon. Because if you don't hit the bell icon, YouTube these days is not very fair. They will not notify you unless you have that bell icon done. Even with the bell icon, sometimes guys don't get notifications here. So we have all three of them. Let's continue and let's build this shirt up because this rain is gonna come any second. What I need to do now have to make all three of these kind of even, okay? Uh, that way we're gonna have it leveled at the same spots and uh, that will help a lot to put this shelter up. Uh, this one is a bit longer. We're gonna cut it up. Just up here. <laughs> Uh, 
glass for the silky. One tip that's gonna make your life much, much easier when you're doing this. You can take a rock, just put it underneath there, and now you have free space to work with the knot here and with the rope. For this time I have this log from my last shelter. And right now I can work freely in between all three of these poles here. I found the middle of this rope. I'm gonna put it over here, over here, and then just I'm gonna repeat the process all around. Again, let me put this like this over here. Back again. And just a few more times. After you're done with that, just pull it through again. Let me show you here. Kind of hard to do this and film it. There you go. Now, second one. And this way, we're just gonna tie it up as hard as we can, just like that. And then you can just finish with this quick release. I would say butterfly. Let's see if this is gonna work. So, one. Now, of course, you can just simply adjust it. It is not going anywhere, so I can even hang here. Um, uh, one tip, of course, you have to adjust the height. What I did wrong here, or actually, I showed you, so that is the simplest way to film it. I have to put this knot a bit lower, maybe somewhere around here. Then I'm gonna have a proper height for my shelter here, because when you take it, take it down, it is high like this. So we have to put this knot somewhere around here and we're gonna be completely nice and fine. Hopefully you get the idea here. This is entrance. At least it's somewhere around here. There you go. And we're gonna peg it up. If we need it a bit lower, I'm just gonna adjust the frame. Simple as that. It's much easier than when you find the pole. Now you have to cut it on the right size and you have to be exact there. Even if you miss a few inches, it's not gonna stand how it should be. So this is much, much better. Uh, it is, I mean, it is a bit more work to do, but anyway, you, you, you have to cut the tree one way or another.
there you go. Nice and tight. After we close it, we should be fine, even from the heaviest rain, in case it falls. Now, the weather is just fine, and uh, it is quiet. There are huge clouds around here. It's not weird to have these kind of clouds here. We are about 700 meters of sea level. Uh, I should think we should be completely fine. And I don't care right now, because I hear my shelter down. Uh, I'm going to light a fire somewhere in front of here. And uh, though is ready to come inside the shelter. Want to try out? Always the same suggestion. What do you think? Well, he seems to like it. And there. Let me give you a close up. And this is the biggest advantage of this system. Now, inside, we don't have any pole at all, which means we have more than enough space to sleep and for our gear. Now from the back, it's just simply like that. Yeah, if you want to add, of course, your stove, you're going to do it by opening this and putting your chimney outside of there. And if you want to see that, make sure you tell me in the comment section. Let's continue. Time to put our stuff inside and then we're gonna light a fire to have some nice meal here. Cool thing about this uni gear sleeping bag, which I used in my last action previous one, uh, it comes with uh, this mesh here which is attached. So I guess when you go to sleep and there are mosquitoes, you just put this over your head and you look like this. And I don't know, can they bite through, through it? They're pretty big holes. And I think this is used exactly for that one. Luckily enough, it is uh, winter here, pure winter, so no mosquitoes whatsoever. But anyway, uh, it was good last time. I mean, it is uh, rated as comfort uh, minus one, I think. It is on the package. But yeah, I, I think so. Right, since it's getting dark pretty quickly right now, it's time to get a fire going. Uh, we're gonna use charcoal, of course, and I'm gonna add. What's wrong with it? The logo is in garden mode, and uh, I'm gonna remove this rock here. So I don't have to worry about cleaning this area up since this is almost soaked. I can almost squeeze some water out of it, so it's not gonna spread anywhere around. No need to worry. Um, uh, I'm going to use this lanyard hole here plus the fire steel and it shouldn't be a problem to get a fire going. I found this dry ones on the way here, they're actually wet. So good advice is I placed it in my pocket near my body, which means there is heat. And right now it is nice and dry like a sand, uh, so we shouldn't have a problem to get this fire going. So.
while filming Dolo stole the damn sausage. You're a real sausage dealer, what do you do? And he's not even ashamed to come and ask for more. Come on, let me try this. Sausage, yes. You ate sausage. No. You carry your own food, move away. But uh, let's do a test here. What will happen if I leave this tinier piece of sausage here? Let's see. Back dog. Hey, good boy. So, you can see that he's not really doing some fair play here. But that's fine. I think I'm going to survive because I have beans, I have sausages, and I have meatballs. No. Don't you ever touch this again. That is mean. Not for you. Get it? It's running around. You spill my beer? Luckily enough, I placed all of it in my cup here. Mm. These nice cups are gonna come in different sizes and volumes. Uh, in liters, I think they will come in uh, two, uh, two point, uh, sorry, uh, point two liters, uh, half liter, and maybe one bigger one. And uh, they'll be available as soon as possible on my Etsy store. Uh, excuse me for a second. Oh, my sausage is burning. So we have sausage and beans plus one rolls of sausage. That is awesome dinner. Very good. Uh, you told him that I ate a ton of sausage. Dude, he's just creepy behind my back. And uh, guess what he wants? Let's check this out. Like you're getting a shark feed. No, you have your own food and you had your meal already, so this is my time to eat. Oh, I think I'm gonna think I'm gonna He wants it so bad. After I have my dinner, I'm just gonna sit near this fire because it's just beautiful. We have no rain, it's very dry, which is good. It's a good time with my dog here, right? Like that? I know what you want. Sausage. But sorry, no, there's no sausage party. Mike Oregon is ensuring that we have light. This sausage is <laughs> burned a little bit. Don't worry, it's fine. Let's make this not to burn. Okay. I'm gonna add some seasoning. Not much. This is done. You want some saw beans? Dude, you're gonna fart in the tent. We're not going to survive that. 
if you eat this, okay? If you eat this, your farting is going to cause explosion. So no, that's a no-go. Uh, let's see this one. It's a bit burned, but not too bad. It's time to have a feast. We're going to feed this fire later. There are some good embers there. So let's see. Of course, we don't have spoon. And this beer is pretty awesome. And if you hear that cracking sound, that's probably my camera struggling to focus on me. But we have this nice stick, which Carver chewed probably a ton of times. And I mean, it's just bean and sausage is going to be bought. Mm. Very good. Let's have a bite from this sausage. Mm. Well, I don't know who invented sausage, but God bless him. Are that Germans? If you know the answer without Wikipedia, write down below. Okay, go for it. Jesus. This is very, very good. Good day outdoors camping. What do you think? You can see how much moisture is here in the air. Uh, right now, I'm gonna snuggle inside of my sleeping bag. It's time to go to sleep. And I have no idea where the hell is my dog. Not in the shelter, obviously. Uh, it is a good day. Uh, nice that we took this for camping so i really enjoyed it and still enjoying and uh it is very quiet we have no rain which are that's good news okay so for a change i don't i don't need to suffer here for once at least and uh just to do and and i'm just here for some casual camping of course we are always looking forward uh, nature's worst. That way we can test our gear better, we can test our skills, I mean our, my skills obviously. And uh, that's pretty much it, so let me stand inside and uh, I'm going to see you guys inside of my shelter here. Oh, you can see, we have a really, really good amount of space here. Our gear is over here. Check my dog few things that he's a pillow and that's a really good thing now you can see this sleeping bag of his I'm gonna use it as a I'm gonna use it as a pillow because there's no need for a dog with a sleeping bag in this moment since uh, it's, it's, it's pretty warm inside of a shelter okay I mean inside of a tent uh, there is no condensation whatsoever because it is kind of a tent uh, which is awesome awesome advantage over the regular tent and there we go. Seems to like the sleeping mat. Anyway, it's very, very warm. I'm without my trousers and I have a nice long grim of socks. I think that's gonna work for tonight. So, my sleeping bag actually very nice and the surprise is surprisingly good for that kind of price, which is, I think, uh, I don't know, 80 90 bucks. Uh, I'm gonna leave the link in the description so you can check it out. Uh, our gear over here, don't go here, I mean, here, where to go here. So, I'm gonna see you guys in the morning.
was still sleeping. Still very cold here. I can see that. So there you go. That should solve that problem. Anyway, a nice place to be around here in this bear country. The birds are singing. They cheer you up for a good morning. The dog was still, he went back to his bed. You like the bed? Yeah, he's getting old, I guess, as much as I do. And as much as I would like to stay in that shelter, in that tent, for a few more hours, well, you know how it is, kids and everything. So, our, 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 little, our little construction did a great job here. And uh, as you can see, right now, I, have to, I just have to pull one of these, here it is, quick release, and that should do the job. Before that, I have to pack everything up, of course, and uh, then I'm going to leave. Um, uh, I recommend you to get one of these tents. Uh, I'm going to do a full review on it. I think that would be a good idea because I had a ton of requests how it is and about the details. And uh, unfortunately, I can't show you everything in one vid because that way the vid would have, I don't know, three hours. But uh, in the review, I'm going to show you all the details, all the stitches and uh, how big it is, exact measure. And I have to check how heavy it is, uh, you're going to have all technical info in the review itself. So that's pretty much it for this vid, guys. Let me come up to So that's pretty much it, guys, for today's vid. The dog is ready to leave, but we still have to, you know, remove that, and then I can leave really to home. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. As always, comment what you think. Comment me a lot. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you want to help the channel out, you can check our merch. And probably while you're watching this, uh, there will be a link for that cup and to order it, okay? And it will be shipped, to the, especially for you guys in the US. I'm going to ship it uh, with the fast shipping, which costs, I don't know, around 10 bucks. So I place that into the price. And I think it is a fair price for the guy who makes it. And to help the channel out, to help the dog out. And as always, have a nice one.